Welcome to CVW4 Basic Flight Requirements for Conducting Air Operations. In this video, we'll cover the essential skills needed to pass the CVW4 qualifications, making your flight safer, more rewarding, and enjoyable. Our qualifications include 1. Radio Communications 2. Airfield Operations 3. Basic Formation Flying 4. Navigation 5. Air Refueling 6. CV Operations Each of these skills plays a critical role in effective flight operations. Remember the basic rule of aviate, navigate, and communicate at all times. The grading will consist of two parts. 1. From takeoff to paddles contact. 2. From roger ball to trap. Grading will be from also. Now, let's dive into each requirement. 1. Radio communications. From taxiing to landing, clear communication is vital. CVW4DCS uses a realistic radio system, so you'll need to broadcast on the correct frequencies, some pre-programmed, others manually entered. You'll use various frequencies, such as it is, ground, tower, and deck control. Two key principles to remember. Think, key, speak, think about what you're saying, key the mic, and clearly communicate. Who you are, where you are, and what you want to do. Short and precise communication avoids confusion, and keeps the airspace safe. 2. Airfield Operations Familiarity with airfield markings and lights is essential for safe navigation on the ground. These markings work like traffic signals, guiding you along the airfield. Key procedures include Pre-flight prep, check weather, not AMs, and frequencies, taxi procedures, follow ground control, and stay vigilant. Take off and landing, communicate with the tower for clearance, and ensure runways are clear. Mastering these operations creates a smooth and efficient airfield experience. 3. Basic Formation Flying Formation flying builds teamwork, awareness, and precision. Here are some foundational formations to know. Fingertip Formation Aircraft fly in a V-shape, close together, emphasizing precision. Echelon Formation All aircraft line up diagonally, requiring spatial awareness. Line abreast, used in offensive tactics, where aircraft fly side by side. Combat spread, provides more separation for reconnaissance, allowing for greater scanning. These formations enhance your ability to maintain control and coordination with fellow pilots. 4. Navigation. In the F-18 for digital combat simulator, navigation relies on systems like the UFC, SHI, and TASIN. Here are the basics. Waypoints, enter coordinates for each waypoint using the UF keypad, confirming with ENT, TASIN navigation, set the TASIN channel, and display it on the SHI. This helps you locate stations and approach targets accurately. Navigation proficiency is essential for maintaining your path and arriving precisely at your destination. 5. Air refueling. Air refueling in DCS requires a careful approach and throttle control. Start by locating the tanker using mission details or TASIN. Approach gradually, matching the tanker's speed and altitude at portside observation. Request clearance via radio, move to the pre-contact position, and then maintain a steady hold to complete refueling. Success here depends on steady throttle control, trim adjustments, and monitoring your position. With practice, this skill becomes a valuable asset in long missions. 6. CV Operations Carrier landings in DCS require precision from initial contact with Marshall to the final Roger Ball call. Start by checking in with Marshall at 10 to 50 miles out. Enter the holding stack at your assigned altitude and gradually descend as directed. Note, all pilots should always be in a bank when in the stack. It is a 360 degree turn from your entire point in the stack. Some key reference points of reference. Point 1. 2,000 feet. 2. 5. 0. K. N. O. T. S. Point 2. 2,000 feet. 2.5 miles. Point 3. 2,000 feet. 5 miles. Point 4. 2,000 feet. 2.5 miles. And back to point 1. At point 3 you will commence with increasing speed to 350 knots and descend to 800 feet. As you approach the carrier, maintain 800 feet. Then execute the brake at 1 to 3 miles a beam. Lower your gear, set flaps, and prepare for a final approach. Once you have the optical landing system in sight, call Roger Ball to alert the landing signal officer. Your goal is to keep the ball centered and catch the arresting wire for a successful landing. CVW4 requires fair grades are the standard here. 
worth 3.0 points, can be earned from catching 2, 3, and 4 wires. Lick approaches can only receive a maximum grade of fair. Summary. Each of these skills, radio communications, airfield operations, formation flying, navigation, air refueling, and CV operations, is vital for safe and effective flight. Mastery of these areas will enhance your ability to handle any situation and increase your confidence as a pilot. Thanks for watching, and remember, always aviate, navigate, communicate.